I feel like this video is a long time coming. I owe you guys an explanation. The Ford Bronco or the Tesla Model 3. To kind of backtrack, I wanted to buy a car. Bronco seems to be the one that I really, really wanted. I loved it from the moment I saw it. Super rugged, super outdoors, more rock crawling stuff. You know, I want to give that a shot. It was my vehicle of choice for that time. I put a deposit down. They say it's gonna be about a year. Wait, 2023 one year. I didn't want to wait a year. I started researching, been having a lot of EVs in the studio, looking at a Model 3. I thought I could save some gas money. I like the luxury feel of it. Decided to put down a deposit on a Model 3. Six months later, in November, they both came at the same time. Quite a dilemma. I gotta choose. I gotta figure it out. I actually talked about it on Lou later. Go check it out. This is not gonna be a review. Just gonna be my impressions, an owner of having an EV and a super rugged truck. Here you have my Model 3. It's a 2023 with the Midnight Silver. I didn't do too much on it. It's just tinting the windshield and the sides, added some PPF and smoked the headlights. As you can see in the bumper here, no ultrasonic sensors. Um, it's purely camera base. So since the camera is going to be up top and it's only going to be facing down here. So if there's a ball rolling or some sort of animal, Tesla's got to figure that out. I just upgraded my snow tires to the Michelin Ice X snow tires with the stock aero covers and the wheels. One of my biggest gripes about this vehicle are the doors. Anything to do with production side of things, I feel like Tesla is still they're super solid in terms of production, but it's very stiff. You know, when it comes to the doors, you kind of have to like put some force into it. Sometimes what it would happen is it would just kind of like not close properly. It did that time, but some of the doors, the other ones don't really do that properly. I'm actually hoping that it is just something of like using it more and then it would just unstiffen. When I first got it, I think it was pretty solid. There was no panel gaps, there was no light paint, there was no scratches or dents, no creaks or anything like that inside the cabin. It was actually pretty solid, so good on Tesla. Compared to the Bronco, I mean, there's not too much space in the trunk, but I kind of like it, you know. I actually added like a little grocery hook in here. Okay, exterior is great. Let's go inside. Okay, so inside the cabin, I really like the fact that it's super futuristic. No other car is similar. Something that's super sleek, super simple. I really like the wheel because it's really low to the ground. So it feels like it's in a go-kart in like a really fun way. You're kind of zipping through. Since I got the black option, which I like, you don't really see a lot of scuff marks or anything like that. The dash is super clean, super simple. I really like the touchscreen. The seats are really comfortable. I think that you kind of feel locked in since you're so low to the ground compared to the Bronco. You kind of feel like you're zipping past cars. It just seems like a really fun experience. Also, the cabin is really quiet, surprisingly quiet. Since the Bronco has a removable roof, there's not much cushion there and not much sound dampening. So Tesla, somehow made this a really quiet cabin. I think it's a really luxury experience driving in this vehicle. My favorite thing is the connectivity. I really like just having your phone as a key. Uh, I think it's really futuristic. I think it makes sense. So there's one thing that I also don't really like in Teslas and they're things that I use on a daily basis that everyone uses on a daily basis. So like the doors, trying to close them like that happens all the time where it just kind of half closes. I talked about that. The other thing is this stock, the indicator stock. For some reason, I just feel like it's way too stiff. Compared to the Bronco, I, I feel like they just really nailed down the natural strength that you have to put onto the stock. But Tesla, for some reason, I don't know what it is. It's been a month since I've been driving this. It's still super stiff. I'm always going to be thinking about it unfortunately. I guess that's it for the Tesla. I really like it. I think it's a great driving experience. So this is the 2022 Ford Bronco in carbonized gray. It has the infamous hardtop. I only call it infamous because that's what's causing the delay. 
Like, if you really want a Bronco quick, get the soft top. These are the 32-inch stock tires. It's all-terrain. The reason why I like it is because it just looks so cool. You know, it's, it's kind of like a take on Jeep in a way, but like, it's just different. Like, it is, there's like an alternative to a Jeep. I got the Black Diamond Edition. There's so many trim models, and I decided to get this Black Diamond Edition because it has one specific feature that I just, I'm just sold on it. These are drain plugs. These are my favorite thing in the Bronco, and Black Diamond is the only two trims that have this. This whole thing is plastic. You kind of open it up, just holds everything down. Go into this little channel and fall to the floor. When you're dealing with winter, especially Canadian winter, you have a lot of salt, ice, and dirt. I have dogs, hair gets all over the place. I can just hose everything down, including the seats. I know it's a little thing. I don't know why more cars don't have this, but there it is. I don't plan on doing anything to it, like the Model 3. I'm not planning to add PPF or anything. If anything, I'm just gonna probably add tint. Only thing I upgraded at this point is just to add a little antenna. The other one is super long. It kind of looks like an RC car. So I'm kind of off and on about the trunk. Opening this door handle, you kind of get different degrees of turning radius here. Right now, I think it's 45. It goes to 90 and then probably like a 120 degree. This thing's really heavy. It's nice to have kind of like these steps. I'm not too sure about this whole like two thing situation. I feel like it should be maybe automatic where like when you open the door, this kind of goes up again. However, besides that, the trunk space is huge. Compared to the Tesla, it's no question. Like you can add so many things in here, still have like so much space. You can actually just lie down flat. I like the fact that there are hooks here. Like if I were to put like a cooler or refrigerator in here, I can actually tie it down with these four hooks. There's a little bit of space back here. I'm guessing this could be a cooler because it does have a drain plug. It's like lift this open. You can kind of get the ice to kind of drain. Tesla has an automatic fuel door. Not really a fan of that. This is my favorite design. You kind of just hit it, open it. And with Ford's new vehicles, they don't have this uh, fuel cap. So all you do is just plug in the fuel. Before going in, I feel like I have to mention a future problem that I might have. This door handle, when you open it, it kind of gives this glass like a little bit of a wobble because it is frameless. It kind of snags onto this, this little uh, seal and it does wobble. Check this out. If it's iced out and then I kind of open it, Compared to the Tesla, it's a two-step situation. What you gotta do is press, and then the glass kind of goes down, and before you can kind of touch the handle, the glass goes down and then you just open it. So it kind of makes more sense that way. In this cabin, I think it's really rugged. I feel really safe because I'm really high. Everything here is designed for just quick access. Like I love, just switching these aux cords randomly when I'm just waiting at a stop sign because it's just fun. It, it's fun to kind of access these buttons and they're very tactile, like you feel it. You feel like there's emotion there and it makes sense. It's not just a touchscreen. This touchscreen is terrible. I, I think it's super slow. It connects to Android Auto very, very slowly. It takes like, I don't know, two, three minutes on the road and then it connects, not a big fan. It's built for just being solid. So far, there's no creaking, there, there's, there's no um, vibrations or anything like that. I, I think it's a really solid built vehicle. With the steering wheel, I think it's super thick, which is nice. The one thing I don't like about the steering wheel is the fact that you have this really slick area. And if I were to do like a turn like this, for some reason, this area just gets super slippery. In terms of the driving experience, I love it. I love being in the Bronco. We are just having a winter storm currently, and this is full confidence. I, I feel really safe in this. You get a nice ride height. I'm 
in control of the road when I drive this vehicle. And that's what you want. Yeah, so this black diamond trim doesn't have any electronics on the seat. This type of material is also similar to the vegan pleather um, and it's absolutely washable. I guess Ford has adventure in mind in the fact that when it gets really dirty here, you can literally hose everything down, especially when you take off the doors and take off the roof, it's gonna get dirty in here and not destroy the electronics it's actually quite well designed there's like little accents which i do like you have the plaque here bronco logo as well as this really subtle american flag here and even the screws around the bronco has a bronco name in it i've been driving these for a month back and forth trying to get a feel of both of them i guess i have to make a decision on which one i actually prefer i would probably have to go with the Model 3. Winter time, it's great to have the Bronco, but all the other months, I want to just have a nice luxury experience and have fun driving an EV. I think the Tesla is super solid, like a futuristic embodiment of what an actual car in the modern age is like. I guess that's it. I mean, this is my vehicle. I like it. This is also my vehicle. The story is gonna be on Lou later. Go check it out. Yeah, thanks for tuning in.